Let me show you how I made a dope Instagram carousel using Photoshop. For those of you who are new here, my name is John and I am a photographer and videographer. And on this channel, I share with you my latest tips and tricks related to growing your photography and videographer skills. So make sure you're subscribed to catch up with my latest videos. Now let's get into this tutorial. So for this technique, I am going to be using Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, I highly recommend at least starting a trial since it is such a powerful tool for what we do. So the first thing that you're want to do is open up Photoshop and also have the photos that you want to use for this carousel on standby. So maybe it would be a good idea to actually edit them in Lightroom or get the final individual photos done first and then we could plug it into this Instagram carousel layout. But we have it open. We're going to go ahead and move over to create new. Now for this, I'm gonna go ahead and just click four by five at 300 PPI. If you don't know what 300 PPI is, it's basically the resolution of the content that you are creating. So for a lot of web stuff, it's 72 PPI, but if you're planning on printing it later, then 300 PPI is the way to go because it is higher resolution. If you wanna blow it up later, you can. We're gonna be playing with this in just a little bit, so it doesn't really matter which one you open up because we're gonna change it in just a minute. But we'll go ahead and start by clicking Create. So we just created a four by five image. Let's talk about that, right? On Instagram, when you upload them, the best resolution or dimensions that you're gonna wanna use are 1080 by 1350. We're gonna go ahead and adjust this layout. So first thing I'm gonna do is head over to image, go down to image size, and this is gonna allow us to change the overall layout, get us the number of slides that we want, and still maintain that four by five uh, layout on each slide so that way we can get as much real estate on Instagram when people are scrolling through. So as I mentioned, the height is normally 1350. So we're going to go ahead and change that to 1350. Now the width is going to change depending on the number of slides that you're going to want to use. For what I'm about to create, I want to use five slides in this carousel. So what I'm going to be doing, as mentioned, 1080, 1350, that's going to get your four by five. For the width, we're gonna multiply that by the number of slides that you want. As I mentioned, I want five slides. So we're gonna multiply five by 1080 and we should get 5,400. We're gonna hit okay. And then you'll be able to see, it's loading right now, but if I hit control zero, that's gonna allow me to zoom out all the way. And now we have a little bit more of what we were looking for. So. We're gonna break that up into four by five images in just a little bit, but for now, we're gonna get started with this. So if I hit Control plus or Control minus, that's gonna allow me to zoom in and out. If I wanted to take up the full width of the screen, then I'm gonna go ahead and hit Control zero. Now, I'm gonna zoom out for just a little bit. Those are a couple shortcuts that you're gonna be able to use as you're creating. Now that we have the canvas ready, next we're gonna get creative on how we want this layout to be and collage the images together. And this is where you can really get creative and show your personality and just give the carousel an overall feel. The images that I'm working with today are from a disposable camera, so naturally I wanted to have a filmic feel to it. And to achieve this, I'm going to be sprinkling in some film scan overlays that I got from Tropic Color. So as I mentioned, I have these photos on standby and to get them onto Photoshop, all I'm gonna do is literally drag them over. That's gonna load up. I can reframe this if I wanted to. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just start playing with it. I want it about there. I'll just hit okay for now. I might change that later. But again, so this is where you could really get creative. I'm gonna throw these down and just like go to work with it, so. I realized that I don't have enough photos for five carousels. So what I'm gonna do, it's super easy, as mentioned before, we're just gonna go over to image size and this width number, instead of doing 1080 times five, we're gonna do 1080 times four. And when we multiply 1080 times four, we'll get 4320, hit okay, boom. And it did squeeze the images, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete all of these and I'll show you the final result. So 
now I have a decent layout and I'm gonna go ahead and add those overlays that I mentioned to really add that filmic feel to it. and we're done with that part. So at this point, I have a layout that I'm happy with. It's looking dope, it's looking filmic, just the way that I wanted. Now it's time to split the images apart to really see what it's gonna look like as an Instagram carousel when people are swiping through. There's a few different ways of doing this, but one of my personal favorite ways is going over to the View tab. Next, we're gonna go down to New Guide Layout. Since I want four slides, we're gonna make sure that the number is set to four right here. The width and the gutter you can leave alone and we're just going to go over to hit OK. And from here I could go ahead and just start cropping it but now that I see the overall layout there's some things that I want to change I could really fine tune what's going on here. So I'm going to do that really quick and then you'll be able to see the final layout. All right, so those guidelines obviously help a lot. I was able to really figure out and dial in those images to keep the viewer interested, I guess you could say. I, I know what it's gonna look like when they're swiping through and I'm able to kind of do half images on the slides, as you can see here, right? And this is what's really gonna keep that viewer interested in swiping through and seeing what else is next. We are at the final part now, so we're gonna go ahead and move over to this crop tool. Hold that down and there you'll be able to find the slice tool. Click on that and there's a magical little button labeled slices from guides. Now this thing is great. You're gonna go ahead and click on it. Boom. Now the canvas that you just created is split up evenly for you in four by five images. It's gonna be able to take up a lot of space on Instagram as people are scrolling through. They're gonna be able to swipe seamlessly and it's just gonna look really good. Finally, it's time to export. We're gonna go over to File, hover over Export. We're gonna click on Save for Web. This window is gonna pop up. You're gonna make sure that JPEG is selected. Head over to maximum and quality 100 because we can. I'm gonna go down to save and you can save this anywhere. I'm gonna save it to the desktop and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder and label this IG carousel just so I'll be able to find it easier later. And the file name, we'll call this film dump one because that's just such a great name. I'm gonna hit save and it's doing its thing. Now, if I head over to that folder, desktop, IG carousel, images, make that big and boom, we got four different images ready to be swiped away, double tapped, commented on, and it's just seamless and it's looking good. I'm really happy with this. So I am rocking a PC, I am going to have to Next, upload this to Google Drive and then download it to my phone from there. Upload it to Instagram. If you have a Mac, you can go ahead and just airdrop those over to your phone. That's gonna do it for this video. Feel free to like, subscribe, and comment down below how you'll be utilizing this technique. Are you gonna put together behind the scenes of a shoot? Are you gonna put together a little bit of a portrait session or even do what I did and throw together a little bit of a film dump with those photos that you aren't really sure what to do with. I look forward to hearing from you and I will see you in the next one.